Hey guys, welcome to the Tom Reefer Studio. New viewers, here's the 20 gallon mixed reef. And up top here is the five gallon nano, LPS dominated. And in the back corner there, we have the six gallon tall. And over here, we have the 10 gallon peninsula reef. And today, in between the questions on Water Change Wednesday, we're gonna work on this guy right here. We're gonna cut this down to size because it's blocking my Pasolapora here. And I'm gonna show you all this stuff right here. Hey guys. All right, we got a really big shoe tonight. So I'm gonna show you how I cut this leather coral. If you look at it, it's completely covering up the Pasolapora. We'll also do Water Change Wednesday. It's question and answer, new viewers. You ask me a question out in the videos, any question you want, I'll answer it there, and then I answer it here. All right, so let's get into it over there, do a little you know, when I get these out, these are new ones. These are great for cutting leather, any of the soft corals, guys. These are great. Fiskars, it's really sharp. Just make sure you don't use it for other things and it gets dull. This is a brand new pair and it's really sharp and it'll cut right through it. So let's do some surgery. I just like him. All right, last night I was messing with this thing right here, guys. I did a video on this a while ago, do-it-yourself frag rack. I actually took the idea from somebody else online. This thing is magnetic now. Woo, see, as you can see, I'll show you once I set it up better. I'm gonna put that in the tank, stick it to the glass with this, and then I'm gonna cut the leather coral, and we're gonna figure out a way to let it propagate on the rack, maybe a separate rack on top here. All right, so this is what I was trying to show you. This goes on like this inside the tank, and then this will, this is pretty good. These are real cheap, these things. This is gonna go on the outside of the glass. And it's gonna stick right on there. So let's take a look at what I'm gonna do. This here, I did super glue, BSI gel, that's super glue basically. And then I put some silicone on top after it dried. So this is pretty sturdy. We're gonna put this in the tank and then we're gonna do the cutting. All right, let's get this water change Wednesday going. <laughs> Let's get to the first question. Here we go. It'll be about the five gallon, this one, the new five gallon. A key bask, which filtration am I using in the five gallon? The only real filtration I have in there, which would be mechanical filtration, is I stuffed a little of the filter floss down inside the compartment to collect the tritus when going over. I think he expected some other kind of filtration like an overflow box or some form of mechanical filter that was a little bit more than what I had. All right, so what I'm gonna do here, guys, is just what I said. Right down underneath. Now, this is a low flow area. And I want it to be low flow. So I'm gonna try it up here and just sit it on top of another piece of this. Fish Guy Mike taught me this. There he is. What kind of fish is that, Mike? Cool. This is a piece of the diffuser, and I'm gonna rest that on top and then maybe lightly rubber band the leather coral just so it stays on here, not so it sticks to it, just so it stays close enough and over the next few days to a week, hopefully it'll attach to this. I know I saw the box down here somewhere. 
Here it is, just your basic rubber band. I'm gonna cut the coral and I'm gonna kind of wrap it around. Where's my scissors now? Where's my scissors? Oh, come on. Oh, in my pocket. What you wanna do here, before you start cutting into things, you kind of move this around a little, wave this over, and try to get the leather to retract almost to the point where they're not sticking out anymore. I'm going to cut this whole section off here. I'm going to cut way more than what you normally would need to. The correct way to do this, the way I've learned it, is to really frag a leather. You cut little pie shapes out of it. So I could get like off the top here, probably eight, you know, like a pizza. I just want to take this whole section out so I can get some light back onto this Pasolapora. Zachariah asked, what's the best way to clean Chato if you're getting it from somebody else and you want to put it in your tank? The only thing you can really do with Chato is fresh salt water, rinse it in there, shake it out, rinse it in there, and then it can go into your tank. Christopher asked, how soon after a cycle is completed can you do a water change? And I told him as soon as everything reads zero, you may have some nitrate, which is fine, but ammonia and nitrite, zero. Nitrate is okay, so you could do a 10 to 20% water change. Most bacteria, nitrosomonas bacteria, the good bacteria, as we said, forms in and on the rock surfaces, the glass surface, surfaces of things. So in the water itself, a water change won't deplete the bacteria culture that's formed from the cycle. Kind of hard, I'm lefty, so I'm gonna have to come down from the top and... Sorry, dude, I always feel bad when I do this. You just cut it like a... doesn't hurt the leather coral. I don't like getting my hand in there. I'm using my, pull it out. I'm gonna remove it real quick from the water. Put it on this now. Like I said, I don't want it real tight. I just don't want it to come out from this position. There it is. I think that'll stay in there. This is low flow area. If it's not low enough flow, it might drift around here. So maybe what I'll do, get my glue GSI. Let's try this. Put a little there and a little here. I'm putting this right where I saw it, hitting the edge. That should do it. I'm not a frag guy. You know what I'm saying, guys? I buy frags, but I don't frag. I'm not a frag guy. As you can see, there's an art to fragging, you know, or you just learn and you know exactly what you're doing. All I want it to do is stick to that piece of diffuser. And I think as long as it doesn't shake itself loose from under the rubber band or sever, it should be okay. I had to do it a different way, guys. The rubber bands were severing the leather coral, so I put it in this way. I wedged it in between the two squares, so that should hold, hopefully. This is a personal choice, guys. Ryan asked me why I didn't paint the back panel of the five gallon black. I'm actually kind of liking the look of the clear glass all the way around, guys. This is kind of a five gallon peninsula. I'm liking that clarity, the ability to see all the way through the tank. 
Bots28 asked me if I use cleanup crude. Of course I do, Bots. He probably saw in the five gallon I don't have. I have one hermit and one snail in there, but I also don't have any algae growing in there yet. It's taking three or four days before I see even a little bit of green algae on the right, glass. Guys, that's got to do it for this one. I guess we got some questions in. We got the leather frag. I'm going away. Don't forget. Probably no video this Sunday or next Wednesday, probably the Sunday after. So just keep looking. I'll be back. So have a great rest of the night. If this is Thursday, then have a great day. Guys, this is my busy season right now. I'm doing outdoor masonry, so I come home late. I'm a little tired. You know, my video regime can't just be Wednesday, Sunday, Wednesday, Sunday until I get more time. So I'm shooting for this to come out tonight, which is Wednesday night US, Thursday morning Europe and the rest of the world. But uh, we'll see what happens. So have a great day or time whenever this comes out. Take care now, guys.